Okay, <laughs> the lining is swanky. And I'm on my phone. Ah, <laughs> I'm at a weird angle. Yes, yeah, it's a Christmas tree. Uh oh. Pretty sure there's a poop in there. <laughs> False alarm, there were no poops. <laughs> he just farted, I guess. Okay, what I was trying to say is um, I'm filming on my phone because my camera was dead and I didn't know it until I started to film. Quit trying to break into stuff. <laughs> we got our tree put up. We just got it today out of layaway, but it's not decorated because I'm waiting until the weekend when Devin is off so we can decorate it all together. Anyways, this is No Catchy Name, episode number... Yeah. Episode number 18. Yellow, yellow lights, yep. What? White tree, yellow lights. <laughs> um, I'm out of breath. Ooh. If there's weird lights on my face, it's because there's Christmas lights hanging out in front of me. Um, no. No. No, no, no. Hey, go play with your shoes. <laughs> oh gosh. No catchy name. Welcome. I'm in the living room. There's a toddler. A lot of stuff going on. <laughs> and if you've made it this long without clicking off, congratulations. You're an actual fan. And not just someone looking for a really high quality video. <laughs> Anyways, this is episode number 18, I think. I'm Ella. Welcome to all the new subscribers. We have quite a few new people joining us. And welcome back to all the people who's been here before. I feel like this is a really weird angle. He's... Quit farting. They're gonna hear you. It's gross. I was gonna show you him. He keeps looking at the tree. Alright. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go ahead and get started because I've already been babbling for two minutes and nothing productive has happened. Uh, I probably will be horrible at looking at the camera because I'm looking at my phone, so I'm going to be looking at myself because, you know, that's how it is. Alright, finished objects. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, you're sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, get my notepad up there. Alright, this is, I only have one finished object this week, week, and it is a panel for my grease blanket. I'm knocking stuff off. I got stuff piled in a chair. And it's this horrible long one. <laughs> I finally finished it and weaved in all the ends. It is huge. It could be a scarf. It is longer than my wingspan. It could definitely be a grease themed scarf. If you wanted it to be. But yeah, this is my I'll see here. Pink ladies, T-birds, comb, this, and R. This is my fifth one that I've completed, and I think I have six, seven, eight, nine. I think nine more to go. Mama. You want to play with that? You can play with it. Did you hear him say mama? I love hearing him say mama. <laughs> yeah, that's cool, huh? Look. Is that cool? That's cool, huh? You can play with it. Don't touch the tree. Hey, you're gonna get snow all over it. That's called a flocked tree. Never heard of that, but it looks like snow's on it and snow is falling off of it. <laughs> I wanted, I want real trees, but I heard that they make a mess. So I was like, ah, oh, I'll get a fake tree. It won't be messy. It's messy. It's already snowed in my dining room. You are gonna fall through that box. Be careful. Oh, he's gonna get hurt. <laughs> Alright, that is part of my grease blanket, which if you've watched any of my videos, you know I've been working on it forever, and I'm gonna be continuing to work on it until I die. Um, <laughs> it is a paid-for pattern offered by Chaos and Chop Suey. It was a crochet along, but the crochet along is over, but, you know, people still Hi. doing it. I think only, like, two people finished it on time. Um... I have started the next panel that I'm going to be working on, and it's in my whips, which I'm going to go to right now. <laughs> Alright, I'll start with this one because it's first and simple. This is going to be a slouch hat. Uh, the lighting's off. This is a teal color, and this is like a hot pink. These are both Red Heart uh, Super Savers. I can't remember what this green one's called, but I'm pretty sure this is called Hot Pink. Yeah, that's your book. 
Uh, it's going to be a slouchy hat. Um, let's see here. How would it be? Someone in Devin's family asked for it. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. It's Devin's dad's girlfriend's daughter. <laughs> so it's basically his stepsister. But I'm working on it. I've got six, ooh, six stripes done, and I need to do six more than the brim. And it'll be done. Uh, I'm just going to check that right there. <laughs> All right, my next whip, since I'm just, it's right here. Let's see here. Yeah. This is my elf. <laughs> he's headless right now. But he's all done except his head. <laughs> uh, this is a paid for pattern also from Mary Smith. She's the creator <laughs> of Made, Made by Mary on Facebook. She does crochet alongs every month. Oh, he's about to bonk his head on the table. Can you get it? There you go. <laughs> um, this is her current crochet along, which is just a Christmas elf. His music stopped, and I thought that was weird. <laughs> Sorry. Um, what was the thing? <coughs> what? Yeah, he's sitting there, huh? Be good. Mama's filming. <laughs> um, anyways, last... Last week was his legs and his body, including his little shirt thing. <laughs> um, so all I got left now to do is his head, his facial features, and his hat. Does he have a hat? Yeah, he has a hat. Um, finished stuffing his belly. He's pretty easy so far. I mean, I liked it so much so far. <laughs> I don't like doing little details, but uh, what? You better sit down, boy. Mama's gonna get you. Keep doing that. He's standing on a chair. Yeah, it's Mama's hat. Anyways, uh, the last week is uh starts this Saturday, and then it ends at the end of next week. I got you. Look, there's a person outside. You see him? He walked out by the window. It's kind of creepy. <laughs> I hate living in an apartment because people are just everywhere. Strange people. <laughs> but, uh, anyways, the last week is his head and hat and face. Jesse Dwayne, what? Are you stuck? Apparently, he can get on a chair, almost a tree, <laughs> but not off. Okay. I feel real bad because I've already been interrupted a lot. <gasps> you got it. Yeah, go play with that. That's so fun. And with his head and all, that's what's left. <laughs> I won last week a free pattern from her crochet along uh, for that week's drawing. You can't reach it. Ha ha. You're too short. <laughs> He's trying to reach over the baby gate to get something. The next uh, pattern is another made made by Mary pattern. I have to like. Whoop, there you go. He's huge. They're like 18 -ish inches tall, depending on your gauge. <laughs> and my gauge is always huge. Everything I make comes out way bigger than it's supposed to, like the grease blanket. But this is Santa. He is almost done. I have his little jacket details made. I just haven't stole them on. This red never shows up good on any camera. It's not this crazy. It's like a dark, almost maroony. Not, not really maroony. Oh, I don't know. It's just like a darker red. <laughs> His head was supposed to have a dowel stuck in it, and I didn't think I had any dowels, but then after I finished his head, I found some dowels. So he's got a floppy head, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Santa, you want to hold him? He ain't got a face. All I have left to do on him is sew on his jacket details, make mm -hmm. his little belt buckle. Oh, you love him? You can play with him. I got to make his, I'm working on his hat, his facial features, beard, and hair. Yeah. He has a like toy sack um you can make it with him but i don't know if i'm gonna make it and i probably won't put glasses on him because jesse will be playing with it and he'll uh he'll eat the glasses <laughs> okay did i say about that that was made by mary uh pattern also it's pay for pattern i think all her christmas ones are on a sale right now for like 30 percent off or something like that uh yeah, that's everything. Talk about slouch hat. Okay. Oh, this is Santa's bag. I got Santa's parts <laughs> in my skeleton bag. And actually the elf too. They're sharing a bag because 
they have the same hook and I'm just like going back and forth. I work on Santa. I do the elf parts until I'm done with what I need to be done with that week. And then I work on Santa. I should be finishing Santa probably. And the elf. Tomorrow when Jesse goes to stay at his grandparents. I'm going to put this over here. Horrible. Alright. My next whip is my next um, grease panel. If I can get it out. Oh yeah, my bobbins are stuck there. Alright, this is all it is so far. Try not to pull out stitches. <laughs> it's just this so far. It's yellow, orange, and red. There's red up there. It's just, it shows so weird. Red's like a bad color. It blows out real bad. This square is going to be a long panel the size of the comb one that I already made. So it'll be this way. Oops, I just pulled out a stitch. <laughs> Uh, this is for, if you've seen the movie, or play, <clears throat> the, the T-Birds have a rival <laughs> gang, uh, called the Scorpions, and this is like the side of Crater Face's car, so like a decal of fire. This is what that's gonna be. You bringing me Santa back? It's living in my Ooh. snappy bag. He brought me Santa back. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, this was a paid for pattern by Heidi Yates, which is Snappy Tots, but it's currently unavailable because it's limited edition. But it'll more than likely be back eventually because that's how pattern creators do. Ugh. Okay. See, Santa. I think he's so cute. These are supposed to be fluffy, like you're supposed to brush them, but I don't know if I actually will because if they're fluffy, Jesse's just going to pull it off and eat it. But he's a fuzz eater, and right now he's rocking. Ah! Sorry. <laughs> I dropped you. You rocking? Say rock you, rock you. I dropped you. I'm so sorry. All right, my last whip is something for my sister. She sent. I guess she sent it on Facebook or Instagram or something. It's in my um, candy cane, candy cane, whatever it's called, candy corn bag, which I love. I wish so bad there had been more of this material because I'd have bought a lot of it. But that wasn't. We dig them out because they're little and there's skeins of yarn in here. Alright, one, two, I think I made six so far, and I still need to make four more, and then the rest of them, hold on. There's one more green one down in there somewhere. Ah, I found it. <laughs> Alright, these are going to be Christmas lights. I'm stuffing them with scraps. Uh, I made two yellow, two green, and two blue. I'm going to make two red and two orange. And then I'm going to use this dark green color to make the cap top thingy and the cord that strings them together. Because uh, Christmas lights, tip, the older ones were green. Now they're every color under the sun. This is a pattern. She sent it to me. It is a free pattern. It's on Ravelry. Ravelry. <laughs> it's a PDF. It's, I don't know what it's called. I forgot to write down the name. But it's by Jean Herman. I'm taking Santa. You could take him. It's a really easy pattern. I made all of these. Well, I made the yellow ones last night, but I made the four other ones this morning, just sitting on the couch. 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 <laughs> In like an hour, I made the four. But, you know. Simple. Just have it stuffed on yet. He won't stand up. He doesn't stand up. He's trying to make sense of stand. Uh, that's all my whips. Right now. That'll probably be all of my whips for a while. I think after I finish Santa, I might start Mrs. Claus, but I don't know because I don't know if I can finish her before Christmas. I'm sure I can. But, uh. Uh uh. No, you don't need the blondes. You just break them. <laughs> but, um. You can't climb the wall, you silly boy. He's very active right now. He took a two hour nap and was really grumpy, but now he's awake and crazy. No, you don't need it. <laughs> He's trying to reach the uh, light switches. <laughs> I want to make Mrs. Claus. You're silly. And I want to keep working on my grease blanket and finish it because I really want to do the Grey's Anatomy blanket that's coming out. It's in the sixth week right now. So I hope I, hope I get to make it um, sooner rather than later. What are you doing under there? In a bow. <laughs> hey, you want all my sunglasses? You want those? Yeah, those are. Look, you can put them on your head. 
he has been saying no like crazy. He's learned to say it, and he knows what it means. Because when I ask him, do you want this, do you want that? I say no. But if I say no, Jesse, don't do that. He'd be like, huh, what? I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> you sure you don't want this? No. You want your veggie straws? Yum, yum. No. He used to eat veggie straws like crazy. These are reusable, um... Baggies. <laughs> I want them. I actually had planned to buy them, but I didn't want them. Here, do you want one? They're yummy. No. I'll eat one. Mmm, yum, 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 yum. Mmm, yeah, you want it, huh? Now that mama ate some of it. <laughs> They're actually pretty good. And I feel better giving him those than, um, chips. When I say chips, this is what I'm talking about. They're, you know, they're healthier than cheese puffs, but they're not. <clears throat> I hate cheese puffs, too, to be honest. But I try to give them healthier things and then non-healthy things. But whatever. I took a little clip of um, our Christmas decorations so far. And I'm just going to throw it on the end, I guess. Uh, what? You want that chair? You can have it. You just can't have this bag because you mess it up. <laughs> um, this is a horrible episode, and if I get a lot of thumbs downs or whatever, it's okay. I don't care. You either like it or you don't. <laughs> I'm not here for like likes. I'm here for community. So the people who, the people that, how do I want to say this without offending anyone? <laughs> the people who um, are like me and just are in it for the yarn love and community, they won't care if my toddlers in the background making noise because it's life been quiet now because I gave him some food. <laughs> but, um, oh, and his favorite song is on. There's a little song about a shark that he loves. But, okay, that's all the crochet stuff. Well, actually, it's not. The other day, I don't remember exactly what day it started. I'm trying to put that without throwing it. Good enough. Um, on Instagram, there was a hashtag going around. I think it's still kind of going around until the 17th, which is tomorrow. Um, what was it? It's hashtag get your yarn wishes granted or something like that. Um, and I had never really done it before. I'd seen it last year, but I never even read it to see what it was about or anything. And it's literally like you share the picture with the hashtag and underneath it you write things that you'd like to have yarn related to anything, all kinds of things. And pe other people will click on the hashtag and then go click on people's pictures. Excuse me. And go grant wishes. Uh, sending people stuff from you know like all over the place and it was really cool I got some wishes granted I I got I'm gonna be getting a hook a polymer clay hook from someone and some stitch markers uh, Hannah from the uh, cozy cottage crochet granted that wish um, I'm also gonna I got some patterns I got like three patterns paid for patterns <laughs> off of my Ravelry wish list what um, I granted some wishes too, <laughs> because that's kind of what you're supposed to do, you know, it's like a give and get thing. Uh, and it was crazy how, yeah. Really? Yeah, all gone. They're swimming fast, the sharks can get them, huh? Um, it was, it was crazy to me to see, um, how generous people are to people they don't even know. Like, I was just. When I was looking for wishes that I could grant, which all the ones I granted were patterns, because I don't have a lot of money right now, so I can't. Not only can I not afford to buy people's stuff, but to ship it, which sucks. I'd like to be able to do that. Maybe next year I'll be able to, but this year's just small. <laughs> but I did buy some patterns for some people and sent them off, <laughs> and um, it felt awesome. You know, it's generous. It's just like giving someone an actual gift because some patterns are expensive, and then I bought some that were in. Oh gosh, I forgot what it's called. You know, uh, Europe money. <laughs> oh god, that sounds so horrible. What are they, are they called euros? I don't think they're called euros. Whatever people in England use. <laughs> and when it exchanged to um, our, you know, currency rate on PayPal, it was like doubled. And I was like, holy smoly. That's a lot for a pattern, you know, because like a pattern that looks like it's like $4 ends up being like $9. Anyways, point is, I bought them for them. <laughs> I got three, and two of them were ones I really, really wanted. One, I, you know, I wanted, but two of them were I really wanted. <laughs> and, um, 
But I've seen so many people sending skeins of yarn, like hand dyed yarn, to people, and sending books to people, and sending drop spindles to people, and all kinds of stuff. Just anything you could think of, they were sending it to other people they've never even met before, and probably didn't even know before they clicked on their picture. I know I followed a lot of people that day, and I got followed by a lot of people. And it's just, it's kind of like a huge community, yarny get together. It's like a big holiday celebration. I say holiday because it's not just Christmas, you know, it's all kinds of different religions and stuff. But it was just so neat to see how generous people are to people that they don't know and probably will never actually know. <laughs> but um, it's kind of like an angel tree, which I we usually participate in. We used to buy the kids ones, like for school age kids. But then as I got older, I realized there's a lot of people who was going to do that. So we've been, the last few years, we've been doing um, the nursing home trees for the elderly people or the disabled people who are in nursing homes. But a lot of people from my experience with nursing homes, my mom working with them, and I have a cousin that's in one. I just got a message. <laughs> um, they get neglected a lot. And, and I don't mean the nurses and all that neglect them. I mean their families neglect them. And it's horrible to think that some old lady, it's <laughs> about as it sounds, some 80 or 90 year old woman who had kids and had grandkids and probably has great grandkids is sitting there all alone all the time and they ask for the saddest things like they ask for sweatpants and slippers and things and it's just sad to think that they're just sitting there and their family, if they have family, don't even bother to bring them sweatpants and slippers. If I had a grandparent still alive, <laughs> I would, well, I have a grandmother that's still alive, but she's far away. <laughs> but if I had one local that I could visit and love on and buy stuff for them, I would totally do that. My mom's mom, I really loved her a lot, but she died uh, when I was a teenager. And I never really had a grandpa because they, they all died when I was younger, <laughs> really young. But I would, I would love to have like an old, that <laughs> sounds horrible, an older person who, especially, especially if someone likes to knit or crochet or something, to like hang out with and knit and crochet with. A few years ago, I found one that was a knitter, a woman, and I bought her a bunch of yarn and knit needles and stuff. <laughs> you eating your chips. Eat your chips and I'm on my film. <laughs> I don't know how long my phone films before it cuts out, so if it cuts out, that's, it filled up. <laughs> what? You want some water? I'm going to get a drink first. No, I was going to give you some of my water. <laughs> Hold on, I'm coming. I'm gonna give him some of my water from my bottle, but he wanted a sippy cup of water in it. <sighs> I was talking about old people. <laughs> oh, be careful! You okay? You gotta slow down. Bye. Water's not like milk, it's thinner. You okay? Spit water all over the floor. <laughs> he always gets choked up on water when he first starts drinking it because I think he forgets how thin it is. Slowly. <coughs> There's a fly in here. Mom, I'm going to get him later. Yeah, bug. A fly was falling on his head and he was like, <laughs> Anyways, I feel like today's episode is really crazy. Uh. Please be careful. You scare mama when you choke. Please don't throw up. Are you good? <laughs> He's got water all over his belly. He's naked 99% of the time. I don't know if you've noticed that, but he will not wear clothes in the house. But we keep the temperature good and comfortable. Quit spilling it. Jesse's fine. Oh my gosh. He had his cup to this. I didn't watch it before. Um. We do clothe them when we leave the house, but <laughs> anyways, I don't forgot what I was originally talking about. And quit it! Don't. Is the camera? No, no, no. Drink it. Don't. No. <laughs> oh my god! 
Okay. I'm gonna leave all this in here because it's hilarious to me and I'd like to be able to look back at it later. He was just pouring a city cup all over the dining room floor and on his daddy's leather jacket. <laughs> I'm listening to you. I can hear you. Okay. Life updates. <laughs> a week A week from today is the American Thanksgiving. A grumpy butt. We'll be going to Devin's dad's house on Thanksgiving Day. And then the day after that, the Friday, which is Black Friday, which is the big shopping day, everybody knows that. We'll be going to my mom's house. She's having a Thanksgiving dinner. You wanna come up here? Ooh, let me hit that. You wanna come up here? No. Ah, fine. <laughs> um come here. Uh, I'm gonna turn notifications. I hope that's not affecting the video. <laughs> There's his little head. <laughs> um, we are preparing for Christmas, obviously. We've got half of our Christmas shopping done. We've only got four more people to get for, and then we'll be done. We don't buy for a lot of people because we draw names on my side of the family, and everybody else gets gift cards. <laughs> you can't go outside, it is cold. And you are naked. And covered in water. Yeah, there's your keys. Mama left them out so you can play with them. Um, I don't think I have any other major life updates. Devin's going to be off this weekend, supposedly. So that's when we're going to decorate the tree. I'll we'll probably take some pictures of that. I might try to film. I feel like I'm about to fall off this. I'm on a bar stool. And I'm not a small person, so I sit on it weird. But um, I want to decorate a little bit more for Christmas, but I also don't want to put a bunch of holes in the wall because we don't own this place. <laughs> but... um. Yeah, I think that's I don't think that's about everything. I'm hoping to finish the elf and Santa tomorrow when Jesse's at his grandparents and I might try to make another project bag because I have some Christmas uh fat quarters that I want to make some bags with. But I don't know, it all depends on how I feel and what me and Devin are into and all that stuff. We shall see. <laughs> um we're gonna be eating a lot of turkey in the next few weeks because Thanksgiving is next week. But I also have two turkey breasts in the freezer that I got couponing. I don't know if I mentioned it, but I'm a coupon. I'm not like an extreme couponer, but I do stockpile a lot of things for cheap. And um, the other day they had some a really good deal on turkey breasts, and I got two of them. And uh, all we have in our freezer right now is poultry. <laughs> I've been getting turkey and chicken deals, and I know in the next week or two we're going to be sick of chicken and want some beef. But beef hasn't been on good sales lately. Anyways. He's on his Thomas. I think that's everything. This, this has been a really weird video. <laughs> a lot of interruptions and a lot of movement and weird background. And an annoying little boy who likes to <laughs> make noises. But I gotta hop up here and check my messages because I got one from my sister and I need to see what it is. And try to get this up on the YouTube before tomorrow. I took forever to film because I completely forgot today was Thursday. And then when I finally was like, oh yeah, it's Thursday, I need to film. He woke up from his nap, and then uh, my camera was dead. So it's charging, and I'm filming on my phone. So it may be absolutely horrible looking. I don't know. But I will see you guys next Friday. <laughs> I almost said Thursday, but I film it on Thursdays. Um, there'll, there'll probably be some Thanksgiving footage on there. For I know I have some viewers that are not in America, so it might be interesting for them to see. <laughs> um, I don't know what, you know, it'll be a lot of eating and a lot of talking <laughs> um, at my mom's house. They The men sometimes play horseshoes and us women just sit around talking. <laughs> but uh, that's everything. So I will see you guys next Friday. And hopefully I'll have some more finished objects. Yeah, mama, mama. I gotta go clean up water that he spit and poured all over the place. And put up all my crochet stuff. <laughs> so I will see you guys next week. I've done said that like four times. Oh my gosh, I need to just go. I'll see you. Bye. <laughs>